Hey what up guys, welcome back to my programming channel and today we're going to talk about what an ether is and what gas is and what is actually the difference between ether and gas because those two terms are easily confused guys. I remember when I learned about Ethereum blockchain and Ethereum technology about smart, smart contracts, I, I confused those two terms and so today we're going to clarify the difference guys. So let's get into it. As we talked about in the previous videos, uh, Ethereum is a platform for decentralized applications. And when you write such an application, such a decentralized application, you write it in, in, form, uh, in, in form of uh, smart contracts. So when you write your smart contract, it may call another smart contract. And so this collection of contracts uh, is your decentralized application. And you write those contracts in a programming language called Solidity. And so when you, as a software developer, write your code, when you are done, you compile your code from Solidity into a machine code. And so this machine code gets executed by, by Ethereum Virtual Machine or EVM. So this might sound complicated, but to make it simple, we can think of Ethereum Virtual mach Machine as just um, the, the Ethereum blockchain that executes uh, your contract. Uh, and the whole idea of Ethereum is to act as a single computer. So we can pretend that uh, EVM is a... A single computer, but in reality, it, it, it is this blockchain system that is Ethereum and all the miners in it. So we write our, our code in Solidity, it gets compiled into machine code, and this machine code gets executed on the blockchain, or we, we say that EVM executes our machine code. So now we can start talking about gas. Uh, in this machine code, you will have several operations. Uh, in, in fact, each instruction will have its own operation code. So, for example, I might have an instruction in my machine code to load a value into memory. And so uh, that is an operation and it has an operation code. And so I might have another operation to perform some SHA hash function. That would be another operation with another operation code. And so in Ethereum, each operation has a cost. So in order to execute your smart contract, you need to pay uh, for all your operations, guys. And you pay with ethers. Uh, so what is gas then? Because you pay for your uh, smart contracts with ether. Gas is a unit that translates into ether. So let, let, let me clarify this. You have those instructions. And so your first instruction might, co might cost two gas. And two gas gets translated into some number of ethers. And your second instruction may cost five gas. And this number five will get translated into a number of ethers. And so why do we have this division between gas and ether? and the ethers. Why not just say that, uh, for example, each uh, uh, memory instruction costs two ether? Why do we say that it costs two gas and then we translate it into ether? And guys, the reason for that is to decouple the price of um, an operation with the market price of an ether. Because uh, the, the gas price for each operation is constant. It, it is not easily changed. However, we can change how much each gas costs in term of ether. So if the value of an ether goes through the, through, through the roof and we have an ether that costs a thousand dollars, then we can, uh, then we can lower the amount of ethers that repre represent one gas guys. Uh, and so that way we decouple uh, the price, the market price of an ether with how much you actually pay for each operation, because each operation will be some number of gas 
and 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 the value of each gas in ethers can be easily adjusted by miners and by yeah eth ethereum blockchain and so this is the main difference guys difference guys gas is a constant number so each operation uh, all the different operations you might execute in your machine code will have a fixed number of gas that that you will pay for 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 a, for a operation. However, then we translate the, this number of gas into ethers, uh, and as as I said, this is to decouple the market value of an ether with the, the cost of a an operation, guys. So I hope that wasn't um, that I, I explained it uh, clear enough. Uh, and if you are, and if you have more questions, of course, write them in the in the comment section below. Below. And so uh, another uh, thing that I want to mention is that uh, this list of, of operation codes and how much each operation costs in terms of gas can be found in Ethereum's yellow paper. So those operations actually have. Uh, constant gas prices and uh, as I said before uh, as well and th those prices are listed in ethereum yellow paper so that's it for today guys uh, what, what do you think H have you confused ethereum uh, ether and gas before uh, if you have leave your experiences in the comment section below and if you are a new viewer guys and you like ethereum you like blockchain you like cryptocurrencies you like programming you should definitely subscribe to this channel guys because you will find it interesting i myself am a software developer and i post videos every single day guys so today we discussed the difference between gas and ether i'll see you guys tomorrow